Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone Contraption video. And yeah, today I'm gonna teach you how to build this awesome garage. But in in my garage, what what I, what I like more than my luxury car is knowledge. Bringing back the old means. Uh, yeah. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to build this uh, uh thing and how to um. So this is like a big storage area up here, and then I'm gonna teach you how to build this awesome garage. With also, uh, the main focus is gonna be this redstone door right here. And yeah, and then this is how you actually get transported, cause our boats on ice move extremely fast. And yeah, I guess, uh, get on to the video. Just to tour around this, we have the, um, the garage door over here that you can access from both sides. You have your car in the middle some knowledge bookshelves in the back and you have a ladder from going down and all the way up up top what you do is um you, you put a trap door down and you want to sit on top of it and then you put a bunch of barrels all, all along here and then you want to put item frames on every barrel so then you can show like where what each barrel is to open up any barrel it's just that one item at right now but then in the show and then you can have one for shuffle boxes where then if you open it, open it up and you can take like um like four shuffle boxes of all different stuff and you can take it and you can use that but yes and then you have your main part over here this barrel holds a bunch of bows which then you can see later and then down here this is your main transportation system and if you hit this button you get your boat and this dispenser has a bunch of hoppers called connecting to that barrel and then when you ride you can like you can see how fast you go on on on, in a boat on ice and then up here this is how you like get out of where you're going and the way back is also the same thing just boats can't climb so it's one straight path that and it's something to usually glitchy and then you just walk up and you come back and then when you're done you open up the barrel put your boat back in and leave but yeah it's really simple to make you just want to make a box out of um Stone bricks, and you want to make a roof like this with stairs going up, and then um, slabs up here, full blocks up here. And I just added that what concrete on both sides for a little bit of decoration. And yeah, and then you want to make a overhang to make it look cool. And then the front, if you want, you can put um, like um, an overhang over here, but you want these, and you just want to make sure that none of the redstone is visible. And yes, yeah, so now I guess the main part of the focus is how to teach is to teach you how to make this door and let's get on to that so this door what it does is when you press this button it sends this poster and then it makes those blocks drop and then they extend back and then they, they come back up later i since i've set the same contraption up but not underground so it's visible and it's easy to explain so over here we have the contraption it, it is a little bit of a bulky contraption but it can put it all underground and it's really simple so the main parts of it is this double piston extender down here with um some gravity affected blocks like that and if you want you can add this glass part up here to like the see-through glass part on the door and if you press this button you can see the same thing happens they'll fall down and then those fall back up and it's really simple to make what you want to do is first make it this double piston extender which is just a sticky piston and a normal piston so what you really want to do is make the, the double piston extender which is really easy to make you want to take um, a sticky piston facing up and a normal piston facing up and then you want to put a redstone repeater down here to set that to four ticks. And then you want to shift and use any block to put on top of the repeater. Then you, but then you want to put a block on top of that, break that bottom block. And put a repeater up here set to zero ticks. And then you want to build that down to here and put a redstone line dropping all the way down. You want to put a repeater to there. And then you want to put a redstone line falling, coming through from there. And now if you activate it, you can see that it, it's a double piston extender and it pushes up both the pistons. See how uh, it's, it's all contracted, but then when you put down your pulse, it, it opens it up and so, and then you have that there. So then what you want to do, you have it extended, put a, put a block on top of the repeater and just build around it. So then it looks like, so then you have your piston kind of in it, but you also have the two sticking out over there. And that's really it for the piston extender. Now what you want to do is over here where you have the um, where you have your in and out. This is like that's your dividing and you say this part's in and this part's out. What you wanna do this is another button. So what you wanna do is put a button on both sides with um a 
like a uh, line of repeater for connecting those two up. So if any one of those buttons is pressed, it's called an OR gate. Or if any one of the buttons are pressed, it'll um you can trap the whole thing. And they want to put rest on torches on both, so both of them, so they deactivate both because then you'll if you don't you'll have one and it'll build out a little and leave the block down there because then the redstone line should um the redstone torch should activate that redstone line right there. And you just want to build it down, all the way down to the floor, and connect it all up. And then it's really simple, just take the line, connect it up into that repeater. And yeah, and now if you press this button, it should drop down and you can walk through. And the only reason it's really bulky is because, um, I said the size. And what you want to do, and you see how this is only one block, but if I made it, um, a three block one, if I made a three block double piston extender, then I would put repeater on that side, repeater on that side, connect them up, and as you can see, you want it, you, you want it to run through the middle because that's the easiest place to um put them, and that th that also makes sure is that um the single strength goes through all three, and it's not just one. You want to put the double piston there, the double piston there, build out a little more. And yeah, now you can see like the full, now you have a wall here so you can't jump over. When you press the button, that falls and that extends you back up. Now if you want to do the glass, now if you want to do the glass, it's really simple. Build up one, two, four high, break the two middle parts, then place that piston down. And then you want to put, if you're doing, if you're doing three, you want to place the, so then once you have that piston down, Break the t block on top of it. Put um, a block right there. Once you have your piston down there, you want to um, build out three back. And what you want to do is put down two repeaters and set them both to four tick. And then you want to put a redstone just back there. And then you want to connect it up all the way down to the um, to the redstone torch to the redstone torch line that we have, powering the bottom pistons too. Oops, not the repeater. The redstone does connect all of that up and then you can see how the delay goes through and then it extends so now if you press the button it should all will work in one and then you can change plus maybe what's with the time that kind of like it where the back extends a little bit more um the top extends a little after and then you just want to build around it so you so so they don't see the um piston and yeah and now if you want to do the if you, if you want to make it um like three like like we have on the bottom the exact same thing as the bottom one. Just need to put down the pistons. Like that. Just want to copy the one and it, yeah, you can extend it as long as you like. You just need to have the resources to do so. Four, four, four to four tick. Bring up all the redstone and yeah, now you can see how all that fits. And nicely, and then when you press the button, it, it, it all moves in one continuous harmony. You just want to make sure that when those drop, you want to make sure that you can go through without getting squashed. Oh, that's not good. And yeah, that's really it for the door. It's a little bit more on the bulky design, but it's definitely worth it because it's a really cool garage door. And yeah, I mean, I really like it a lot. It really depends on the person, but I, in my opinion, I like it a lot where the um, garage door drops it in. The glass also goes up, so 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 it feels like you have um, more than one door. It goes in like that, and then you and then if all this is underground, you just build on the floor. If you're gonna do it like this, you just build out and just uh, yeah, you can build on top of the redstone. And then once you build out, it just feels like um, yeah, that's really it. And then wait, yeah, that's really it. And then you also wanna put not put stuff like there. And then going back. The design again is just really simple. Just um, the door, and then you want to make sure you have it kind of like this, cause it, cause if you don't, it looks unsymmetrical. But over here, you're trying to hide the redstone, and that's also why you have it kind of poking uh, uh, up right here, because you want to hide the redstone that's going behind it, and then you break down. And that's also why you have those redstone planks right there, to, again to hide the redstone. And um, this barrel, like I, I think I said this before, but it connects up to this dispenser and if you break it out, you can see all the hoppers. And there's just a bunch of hoppers connecting up to the barrel. Like then it just filters down into the uh, dispenser, but you just wanna make sure you put, you can replenish your vehicle or else it 
uh, on higher traveling because then it uh, makes sure that um it like goes through and it doesn't just um do do that and then you can have decoration down here you want to put blue ice on the floor and then you want to make sure that you don't interfere so it's all underground and it could boats on blue ice blue ice is the slipperiest type of ice and boats on it can go super fast and you can get and i believe that's like a hundred blocks in a couple of seconds that that i've traveled and then on the way back since they can't go up and i think i made that mistake before I put it down on one straight path so you can like go through really fast and uh Another smarter thing to do would, would, would be put in the nether. And yeah, these are just slabs being held up by um, a fence post. And yeah, to build the top part, it's really simple. And yeah, to build the top part of it, it's really simple. You just have um, a ladder going up and a trapdoor there. But you want to make sure there's two and then you go all the way to the top to hold your W key. And you might have to do it once or twice, but you know, once you're, the first time you're going to go down, or you're going to be in the crouch position. So when you go back up, you know, we go over the trapdoor and now this is a one block space where um, then you can have a bunch of barrels for all your storage compartments. And yeah, like, oh, as I was saying before, the choco box one, you have like, this is named redstone and like, you can have all your travelable parts in here. So then if you're on the go, you, you can just come out, grab what you need for your project and then go out. You need to refill, you have all these other barrels that are full of uh, that one item or the so however you label it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you, if you like this video hit that like button down below and if you're at all new to the channel please subscribe and uh yeah i guess that's really it i'll see you guys in the next video and good bye